Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Welcome to one of my favorite places, the beach. It's a perfect sunny day, and some friends are collecting seashells and other cool items, and I thought it might be fun to help count them all. Wow, look at this. Sue has a big bucket full of seashells. They're all different colors and shapes and sizes. Awesome. Let's dump them out on the beach towel so we can count them. Nice. Looks like Sue has a lot of shells here. I bet we can use our hundreds chart to help us count. Now let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten so far. Well, let's keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And that's all the shells. There are 30 shells. And we use the first three rows of our hundreds chart. Huh, that makes me wonder. How many shells are there in one row? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shells in this row. But how many shells are there in the next row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Huh. There are also ten shells in this row. Aha. Uh -huh. So by putting the shells in the hundreds chart, we made groups of ten. Wonder if each row on our hundreds chart is also a row of ten. If so, when we put things in groups of ten, we can use our hundred chart to count by ten. Here, we can count ten, twenty, thirty. Since we skipped over a bunch of numbers, we can call this skip counting. Skip counting is a way of counting faster by jumping over some numbers. Uh, let's keep exploring this idea. Eric has a bucket of his own shells. He started putting some in piles of 10. Now let's help him finish and then we'll count them. Uh, first, count out another pile of 10. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Uh, now let's make another pile of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, almost there. One more pile to count out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now we have all the shells in piles of ten, and we can put these piles next to our hundred chart. We know that each row has ten shells, so let's try counting by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Great job! You counted up to 70 by tens! Eric sure did collect a lot of shells. I wonder if his arm is tired from carrying them all. I also wonder if he's gonna make something with all those shells. And look, while Sue and Eric were collecting shells, Will was collecting pebbles. He's already put all of his pebbles into piles of 10. Now let's line up each pile with our hundreds chart. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow! There are 100 pebbles. And you counted by tens all the way up to 100. Great job! You made groups of 10 and counted by tens. Now what do you say we look at these numbers a little more closely? What might you notice about all of these numbers? Well, they all end with a super special number.
And I like to call that number Zero the Hero. Zero the Hero helps us count by tens. It shows us what the next number looks like when we count by tens. First, we start at ten. Ten is a one and a zero. <clears throat> zero the Hero, that is. Okay, ten, then twenty. Twenty looks like this. A two and a zero. Zero the hero. Ten, twenty, then thirty. Thirty is a three and zero. Let's keep going. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Forty is a four and a zero. Fifty is next. A five and a zero. Then sixty. A six and a zero. Next, seventy is a seven and a zero. Eighty is an eight and a zero. Ninety is a nine and a zero. And finally, one hundred. Now, one hundred is a little bit different. It's a one, then a zero, and another zero. That's cool. This number gets two zeros. The heroes. Zero. The hero really saved the day here. Zero. The hero is now going to help us count some more things at the beach. Here are some big buckets of beach balls. Each bucket has ten beach balls in it. Let's take a look and see how many there are in total. We can count to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. There are ten beach balls in the buckets. So the first bucket has ten. Add another bucket, twenty, then thirty. Now forty. Next fifty, and finally sixty. Wow! You just counted by tens to sixty, and now we know there are sixty beach balls, and that's more than enough beach balls for everyone. Wow! We had so much fun today at the beach, and not only did we have fun, you also got good at counting by tens. You learned that we can put things in groups of ten to help us count, and then you can use your mighty hundred chart. Each row has ten numbers, so you can use it to help count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, and all the way up to a hundred. And as always, zero the hero saves the day by helping us count to one hundred. Now, what do you say we zoom over with zero the hero to the next lesson?